now over here at the table saw, I can take my story stick, kiss it up against the blade, and then move my fence into position and lock it in. And I'm ready to make that cut. fits nicely. I've got my checkerboard on one side and my chalkboard on the other. Now I want to go ahead and cut that chalk channel so we can set some chalk in there. What I want to determine first is the bottom of the checkerboard. Now with checkers the far most right corner should be a light colored square for both players. So this is my bottom. So on this side here, I'm going to make a mark at 2 and 3 eighths inches from both sides. And I'm going to cut my chalk channel using a core box bit on the router. So we can go ahead and pop this off. I have a 7 8 of an inch dowel that I want to cut little discs out of and the discs are going to be 5 16 of an inch thick. I need 24 of them and these are going to be the little checkers uh, for the checkerboard and there's going to be 12 black and 12 red after I'm done painting them. But I'm going to go ahead and I've got my table saw set up and I've got a little mark set for 5 16 of an inch and that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use my stop block because I don't want this small piece to get caught between the blade and my stop block and ultimately get thrown across the room or something. I've got a big sander and then I've got a random orbit sander uh, and I'm going to use this random orbit sander as a small disc space and that way I can just take some of the roughness off of these little discs from the table saw. And I've got it upside down and i got it pinned between two blocks. I'm going to be using these very small rare earth magnets so I want to drill a hole in the center of these discs 
not not a deep hole, just deep enough uh, for the magnet to sit flush with the surface of that disc. So I've got a little fence jig type thing set up here so I can pin the disc in the corner and that way I'm drilling in the center of the disc. chest board's drying, I'm going to go ahead and I've got my black and red pieces all done. I'm just going to epoxy the magnets in. Hey guys, while I'm waiting for glue to dry, uh, someone had asked me if I would do a shop tour of my shop. And uh, it's not that big of a shop, so there's not much to it. There's 10 by 16, but I figured I'd show you around. Over here is where I do my printer and computer and printer work if I have to print out any designs or anything. Um, and this is the wall that you always see behind me. And I've got a lot of jigs hanging up on that wall. And then over across from that wall is my downdraft table, which I use as an outfeed table for my table saw. And my router is on the end of the table saw. And across the way is my pegboard that has a lot of my hand tools and, and just different things that I need. Uh, as well as my miter saw station. And at the end of the miter saw station is the drill press. And there's that Smoky Joel grill. I'm still waiting for Jeremy Sibley to uh, give me a call so I can ship it to him. And then I have a clamp rack hanging on the wall over there, and then that's my small bandsaw. And then there's my refrigerator that i got to get the thermostat fixed. It freezes everything right now. And over here is a workstation that I've got a lot of projects that I'm working on right now. I've got another buffet and hutch that I'm working on, as well as uh, some drums that are waiting for their final skins and assembly. And... I can go down that is the top that goes on top of my downdraft table and it holds my uh, router pantograph and then of course the entry door a small little shop vac and then over in the corner is some scrap and some wood storage now I also have overhead wood storage in the racks up there different cabinet space I'd rather be woodworking <laughs> and in the middle of the floor is my table saw and router table and there is uh, that storage bin again it needs to be a little bit organized when I get projects going and everything everything kinda of piles up over there in that corner and then once every couple weeks I sit there and go through and thin it out and organize it. And again, there is my wall that has a lot of my jigs and everything hanging off of it. So that's pretty much the tour of the shop. There's really not a lot to it, but it serves the purpose that I need. And hopefully someday soon I'll be able to expand. Okay, for the finish, I'm just going to use a Formsby uh, tongue oil varnish finish high gloss.
All right, well, once the finish is dry, go ahead and add your pieces, and you're all set. Now, for the hardware, I'm going to use a little cup hook for the eraser to hang on. I'm going to place it at the bottom. And on the top, I'm going to use a couple of little brass eyelets that I have. And I'm thinking about using a uh, chain. So when it's hanging on the wall, it can flip from one side or the other. Uh, there's a lot of different options and, you know, as far as being creative with it. Imagine this in a little kid's table and with some type of pivot point to where they could either play checkers or they can have a little drawing station. The choice is up to you uh, and what you do with it, but I hope you enjoyed it. And until next week, see you soon. This is my first attempt at printing a t-shirt. So let's see how it goes.